Good day. Uh, this is the annual opening meeting of the Reagan Udall Foundation. Uh, I'm Dr. Mark Rogers. I have the honor and pleasure of being the chairman of Reagan Udall Foundation, but this is my very first meeting. I'm just completing my first year. So if I do something which is a faux pas or silly, you'll have to just cut me a little slack. <laughs> Having said that, we're beginning today with a uh, panel discussion, uh, and I'd like to indicate that uh, uh, this panel discussion was organized by Alan Kukul, and in advance we'd like to thank him for his work in organizing it, and when we get to that portion, he'll explain the nature of the panel mm -hmm. and introduce the various speakers. It's my pleasure at this moment to uh, introduce uh, Stephen Ostroff. Uh, Dr. Ostroff is the Acting Commissioner of the Food and Drug Administration and a person who is uh, dynamic and uh, helping us grow and develop into an organization that we see can be helpful to the FDA by uh, doing certain tasks in ways that are complementary to the way that they go about their responsibilities. So, Steve? Thanks very much, Mark. And let me just <clears throat> start by saying that it's really a pleasure to be here, and I thank you for the opportunity to speak with you. Um, you know, I've been now involved with um, Reagan Udall Foundation. I think it's been somewhat over a year, and I started the interactions when I became the chief scientist at FDA in um, early 2014, I think, because one of the roles of the chief scientist is a liaison function with Reagan Udall. And I very much recall having a conversation with Lisa Robin, who's sitting over there, when I um, came into the role of chief scientist about all of the various interactions that her office has with the office of chief scientist. And I have to admit that some of them sounded fairly interesting, some of them didn't sound so interesting, but then she mentioned Reagan Udall, and my ears immediately perked up because I thought that Reagan Udall really offered just a fantastic opportunity to be able to work on a number of issues that are very near and dear to my heart, including issues related to regulatory science and training. And, and those are, are sort of right up the alley of the things that are priorities for Reagan Udall. And so since I took over in that role, I really made it a priority to be able to interact with the foundation. I've attended all of the board meetings over the past year or so. I've had opportunities to meet with Mark. I've had opportunities to meet with some of the other board members. Um, I've certainly had opportunities to spend time with Jane and the other staff on the foundation. And my respect and admiration for the role of the foundation has only grown over time. I think it's, it's quite clear that the last year or so has been a period of significant change. And that significant change has occurred not only at the foundation, but it's also been occurring at FDA. And so I think one of the biggest changes is obviously the person that's sitting next to me, Mark Rogers. And, and I think that Mark really brings a new sense of energy and enthusiasm to the foundation. And um, I think that that's really terrific. And, and one of the things that I think is, is clear is that Mark and I really do share a very common vision for the things that we feel are priorities and the directions that we'd like to see the foundation uh, move and grow in. And so I really think that that's fantastic. And um, uh, I think that the board is great. Um, I, I have great respect and admiration for all of the board members and for the staff. Um, led by Jane. Uh, also, it's, it's clearly been a period of change at FDA. Um, certainly the most obvious one is that I'm the one that's giving the remarks this year at the open meeting and not Peggy Hamburg. And at a, at a meeting the other evening that was hosted by Friends of Cancer Research uh, with Ellen Siegel, I mentioned that there's probably not a day that goes by that in some way, shape, or form I don't think about Peggy. And very often when I'm in meetings, I, I sort of think about, well, how would Peggy deal with this issue and how would she resolve these problems? You know, she left a, a really phenomenal legacy um, for FDA that uh, is, is are very big shoes to fill. Some of the other changes at FDA, one of them is the arrival of Rob Califf, who I think is a fantastic addition. For those who don't know in the audience, Rob is um, now the Deputy Commissioner for Medical Products and Tobacco. Uh, he came to the agency in February, and he too is very interested in the workings of Reagan Udall. 
and you know, actually wanted to be here today, but um, he's actually down in North Carolina because this weekend is his 42nd wedding anniversary, so he can't be here. I told him that that was an excusable uh, <laughs> absence. Uh, we also have a new director of our Center for Food Safety and Applied Nutrition, Susan Main. She's also a tremendous addition. She has a wealth of experience from her time at Yale um, on working on issues related to um, chronic disease and nutrition, and so that's a, a great priority for FDA. So there are a lot of really terrific things going on, but I think, you know, mostly it's the momentum that we now see taking place at Reagan Udall, and you'll be hearing about some of the things that have been going on over the past year, including the IMEDS project. It's my understanding that we're about to embark on our first project related to the food side of the FDA, something that I, I, I have been encouraging and that I'm really very enthusiastic about. This will be a project related to a consortium looking at improved diagnostics. And, and hopefully we'll continue to be able to do some new projects. One of them that, that we've recently suggested to the foundation that they may want to take on relate, relates to our expanded access program. And so I think that that's something that we certainly can discuss. So there's really lots of very good things that are currently going on at the foundation. Um, I think that um, all I can say sort of in closing is um, full speed ahead. Um, and I hope that we can build on this momentum because I think one of the things is that success breeds success. And, and um, it, it breeds success not only in expanding the portfolio of activities, but also bringing more resources into the foundation. So I guess I'd close by saying I urge the board to think big. Um, and um, as Lou Holtz, uh, the, co the great coach, I once said, if what you did yesterday seems big, you haven't done anything yet today. Um, and so it's really, this is a time of, of, of incredible innovation. I think that um, uh, it, there's great opportunities for the board to really do incredible work to help advance that innovation and advance the work of FDA and improve public health. So let me congratulate you on the achievements of the past year, and I look to hear more and, and see more great things coming in the year to come. Thank you very much, Steve, and uh, thank you for all your help and support uh, and as much as anything, your encouragement. I'd like, since this is a public meeting, to share with the public my sense of what the role of the Reagan Udall Foundation is and what services we provide and uh, uh, how they come about. Uh, our sense is that we're not here to decide anything for the FDA. Let me just go on record saying we're not a decision-making body, we're not a regulatory body, we have no legal authority to do anything. We're an information-finding body, and besides finding information, collating it and putting it into useful uh, uh, systems which the FDA can use to make its own decisions as to what needs to be done. I think that's very important to highlight. What we need to do is to find out in the prioritization from the FDA which are the areas in which, uh, uh, which are the areas that they think would be most appropriate for us to concentrate on in order to get the um, information in a timely fashion to deal with the issues that are either on their plate or about to become on their plate and that we could help them do that. And that's basically what we've done. So uh, we are dealing, you'll hear a lot about IMEDs and big data. You have heard, and I think it's clearly understandable, why we would be very happy to help in the food safety area. Uh, that's a major issue, including on the front page of the Wall Street Journal today. Uh, in regulatory science, the FDA, in its wisdom, has tried to train people to get understanding and education, uh, master's uh, degrees in, in uh, the issues related to regulatory science, but different institutions have interpreted that in different ways, and part of our role will be to coordinate that in a fashion that we can uh, help the FDA uh, put out the kind of RFPs that are specific for the outcomes that they would like to have, and that will be up to the FDA to decide. 
And we just recently learned that after some reflection on an issue, which is very timely, that in the expanded access uh, program, that's something that they think we can perform some service on, not to give expanded access, uh, but to facilitate the exchange of information by which decisions are made on how patients can get expanded access and how companies can deal appropriately, seriously, but make decisions as to who should get it. So those are three big roles for us in addition to other things, and my hope would be that if we come back a year from now, you might ask what progress we're making, because in the end, good intentions doesn't amount to anything in this business. It's really what you deliver. So our sense is we expect to deliver progress on that, and I count on the uh, fact that we have such an outstanding board and such an outstanding staff that uh, we can make progress, especially now that we have the opportunity to have resources to make the progress. And uh, the leader of our outstanding uh, staff is, is Jane, so I'd like to turn it over to Jane, and uh, she can uh, introduce Alan and go ahead. Thank you.